the watch so nice I bought it twice. Hey, it's Community Gadget Goddess, and today I have an unboxing of the Huawei GT3 Pro Collector's Edition. Now, this isn't just an unboxing. I never revisited the Huawei GT3 Pro ceramic white with gold. So we're going to talk about that phone and why I bought the Collector's Edition. So let's get right into this. Let's go. So at first glance, you can say, hey... The box is very simplistic on the collector's edition. This one with the iridescent writing on it would be the special one. We turn these boogers around and it makes you think, hey, they might've thought the US was gonna get their hands on this because it has a lot of English on the back. Whereas this one has absolutely none except for at the very top. So this is definitely a Chinese exclusive watch. But this one does have UK. CA on the back. So we've seen this. If you haven't checked out my unboxing of the Huawei GT3 Pro in white, I will plug it here and I'm going to stash this to the side so we can get into this one. Shout out to my boy Sean P who thinks I have all the connections in China. I wish I did. I need more people in China to be my friend. Right now, I only have one and she did not help me purchase this watch. Okay. This watch is probably outside of most people's price bracket for a watch. <sighs> it's an amazing looking device though. That dust off of there. We have the care instruction in English and in Chinese. So I'll read these to you like I did the last time. Probably speed it up. This the watch and body strap are made of nano polished ceramics, and the crown is inlaid with a spindle. Try to avoid dropping the watch or bumping it against objects and surfaces. Please try to avoid letting the watch body and strap come into contact or rub against sharp objects. You can adjust the strap length by adjusting the number of links. For details, please refer to the instructions for adjusting the strap. Wow, that's a gorgeous watch. Yes, I bought the same watch in black, but I really think it's attractive. I really thought when I bought the white one, I didn't need any other watches. Even though I have the Oppo, it's on my arm. It's connected to my phone right now. So we'll definitely have to take a band or two out. We're going to charge it too. See what else is in the box. Remember, this is collector's edition. It's got to be special. Okay, 208. Here. This is the utensil to take pins out. And it's magnet, so that's why it was just stuck there. Here's a charger, but I will say, if you have no experience with Huawei watches, they charge wirelessly on any Qi charger, so it's not proprietary. I don't have to use this at all. I will say it's quicker sometimes. We have instructions all in Chinese, which I could use my pixel to translate if I really need to. Oh, and here's some additional bands. So if it's not long enough, you can make it longer. Again, I had to take bands out the last time, so I know I won't need these. But this is for my men that have the big wrist. Huawei Sports Health. Oh, you can pay 208 won a year. And excellent course. Send analysis, custom recipes, sleep music, smart fat loss, and breathing training. Yeah. They give you your time span that you can upload all this. And... Oh, thank you, Google Pixel. Let's see if we got any juice. It took about a week to get here. It was supposed to be here um, the 4th. Today is the 6th. And it shipped on the 29th. So. Had a little vibrate there. Harmony OS. Lovely. Of course, we're going with English. And it's wanting to pair. So we're going to pair it to the Opal Find N2. So here it is. We, oh, but we got the app. We really don't need to do this. But if we needed the app, we'd be getting the app. So I want to go through on my app. And it's trying to connect to my white. I'm going to add a device. And so it's going to scan. And it pops up. And we're going to link them. OK. 
Okay, it's gonna take me through the instruction. I'm not using wax and pay, but okay. I do know with this watch that it gets a couple more faces than the, the regular watch does. That's a, one of the collector's editions. Uh, the Zodiac, which was year of the, the rabbit. So you can change the functionality at the bottom and put whatever you like down there. The weather, calories, step count, or heart rate. So it has an update available out of the box as usual. So I'm going to tap the update. And we're going to let that download. I'm going to stick it on the charger while it's downloading. We're going to talk about why I like this watch so much. By the way, that watch was at 67%. This watch stole my heart just because it's amazing. Like I've received so many compliments on it. Mm. It's a very functional watch. I have hit this watch on hard surfaces. It really has that sapphire display and it has no scratches on the screen. It's flawless. I haven't quite had it a year yet. For me, battery life, I get about a week. Being that I usually go between two watches because sometimes I'm wearing darker colors and I don't want to wear the white watch. I usually get two weeks because I'm not going to wear all light colors that week. I'm not going to wear all dark colors. So battery life is a good week if you're wearing the watch only straight. If you're wearing alternating watches, you can get two weeks if you're not sleeping in a watch. <laughs> but I can get more than seven days without sleeping in it. When they speak of premium materials, this is where it's at. It's just a nice watch. And when they speak of nice battery life, you're getting more than a couple days without having to charge it. Not many watches are doing that on the market right now. To look at it, you can style it as if you're carrying a regular watch and it doesn't look like a smart watch. I very much keep mine smart watchish looking, if you want to call it that. Mine will look like a smart watch because I like things moving. I like, I to, like to know it. what my skin temperature is every now and again. I want to know how fast my heart rate is. Things of that nature. So, you know, steps and things like that. When I first opened this watch and things started moving on that screen, I was just like, am I losing my mind? But no. You have some very, very interactive watches and then you have some that just look like, if you were to look at that from a distance, you would think it's a regular watch, right? I don't use those because white watch faces drain batteries and that's just factual on any smartwatch. Very power intensive watch. I use that one. It has temperature, blood pressure, calories, sleep, and all that good stuff. So that's a pretty good to change watch faces now kaleidoscope is kind of new throughout the day it'll change colors it'll get lighter blue the inside will just kind of work like a kaleidoscope so the little greens and stuff will work their way out kind of neat throughout the day at work or something and of course style has various styles you know leopard print or whatever and that just you know you pick your own style and roll with it so that's style, kind of neat. A couple things have updated since I've gotten the watch. Nothing's really changed in a bad way. I haven't seen like battery degradation or anything like that since I got the watch. And of course I'm alternating, but at the same time, I'm not wearing a regular watch. I'm not wearing other watches outside of one other watch. So it's not like I'm going weeks at a time, except for when I first got the Oppo, I wore it for maybe a month straight just to get a use case scenario for it or to see how well the battery did work because it wasn't supposed to get as long a battery life as I was getting out of it. I've always sworn by Huawei watches because you can't beat the craftsmanship. The hardware and the software is just second to none in my opinion. Yes, Huawei phones are banned in the US. Yes, they've taken the Huawei watch app off the Play Store. So yes, you will have to download it if you get a Huawei watch. But once you have it, you have it. You don't have to worry about that. Huawei was the first watch that I had with GPS on it. There's no cellular connection with Huawei watches. It's unfortunate, but it's not a big deal to me because I don't pay for watch service. I don't think it's 
ever gonna be worth it to me because I carry like two or three phones so I'll always be near one of them. The GPS, let's say I do decide to leave my phone and go for a walk. If I go for that walk, I can take this watch and it will bring me back home without cellular service because the built-in GPS and it connects to the satellites and it just brings you back. These are features that I had um, previously on previous Huawei's, but I mean, everybody's making a big to-do about it now because some of the other watch companies are getting these features and saying it's a new feature. <laughs> I have used Huawei watches with Android and Apple. They are able to take calls, receive text messages and alerts. The only thing you're not doing is responding to text messages. On. Not by voice, not by finger, not by anything. That's a deal breaker for some people. I'm not trying to do all of that on my watch. Again, I'm carrying two or three phones. I need to look down and see if this is important enough for me to have to pick up my phone and respond. If not, I can continue working, put my arm down and, and get it to the grind. This keeps me from having to pick up my phone to see who just texted me. Is my son okay? Is everything good in life? Is there some kind of urgent thing going on at work? That's what that's for. We got our update downloaded. I want to see how much band I need to add. Take away. So I'm going to try this on for the first time. I'm excited. It feels good. That's a very attractive. Ooh, it's a perfect fit. It was made for me. It's the GG Collective Edition. Just kidding. I am excited though. Can you tell? This watch released in May. This watch released in December. Let me guess they're the same. What you'll never see me do is put both of these on. Uh, at the same time. I double fisted some watches before, but we're out here about the same. So I had to reconnect. It has this weird looking picture up here of a Huawei GT3 Pro. Not the li You would think they give you some kind of special image for it, but you know. Guess there's not many of these out there. Firmware updates there. Download the update. And so, yeah, I'm gonna let these sit over to the side and do their thing. Let's say that would take some time, so let's talk about the uh, GT3 Pro. Okay? As much as I say I don't sleep in watches, I can sleep in this watch just because of the comfort level. Something about the ceramic, even though it makes it a heavier watch, is I can't forget I have it on. Yeah, that makes no sense, but I'm telling you. I can forget I have it on, <laughs> so I'm not lying to you. Three updates later, the watch is finally working. I will tell you this. A lot of the articles said that this would spin. No. It doesn't spin just like it didn't spin on the white version. This is very much in place. It doesn't go anywhere. But man, that's a beautiful band. That's a beautiful watch. You still have the second button here. Which you can program it to do whatever you want. Most people... You know, bring it for workouts and you just start your walk or your run or whatever. I will say this. It is the same size as the white. To me, it looked bigger. Maybe because it's just black usually looks small, but it looks bigger to me. The bezel is not as prominent in this watch because it's a black watch. Whereas the white watch, you see all that bezel and it just looks like the watch is smaller. See? Same size gonna get a week or more out of this battery life depending on your use case depending on if you sleep on it depending on what you do just know the markup in China between these two watches is less than a hundred bucks whereas <laughs> the markup between these two watches in America after the exchange is over a hundred bucks I think right now you can probably find this one more reasonably priced or more closely priced to what they sold it for in China. When China released this watch in China, it was like $650.
And so the mark up here in the States was like eight, nine hundred dollars and it slowly started dropping, slowly started dropping. And I think you might be able to find it in some places for five or six now. The mark up here is ridiculous. It's a collector's edition. So I think it's seven twenty-five in China. So the mark up here is anywhere from like a thousand up. Find you a connection in China if you can. <laughs> That's all I say. Find you a connection in China if you can. Because the new will. This watch was released in December. They're releasing while we watch it now. I like this one, so I wasn't really focused in on. I like this one better than I like these, but this might be your cup of tea. But if it's priced six or seven hundred dollars in China, you can add a couple hundred dollars to that to get it to the States. So to each his or her own. My son is still rocking his GT2 Pro. I have a GT3 I need to sell. I don't have tiny wrist, but I don't have huge wrist either. So this is 43 millimeters or 42.9 millimeters. If you can rock with the Pixel watch, you can definitely rock with this one, hands down. Last but not least, let me remind you, this watch does not run Android. OS or Wear OS or whatever the, it's called. The operating system is not my favorite. Don't care much for it. I liked Tizen better than I liked Android OS. But either way. So if that's what you're looking for, you might want to keep it pushing. This is Harmony OS. So Harmony OS not only runs on watches, it runs on phones, it runs on computers. Harmony OS is Huawei's operating system and Yes, it will still work with your Androids. Yes, it will still work with your Apple devices. I think one of my first <coughs> Huawei watches that I did a video for, I was exclusively using an iPhone. With that. <coughs> iPhone works with this just as well as Android. I can take and receive calls through the speaker the whole nine. So it's a good alternative. If you're not into the Apple Watch, if it's not your cup of tea, you can still step over here in Huawei land and get a watch and use it. I'd like to thank you for stopping by the channel and catching my unboxing of the Huawei GT3 Pro Collector's Edition and a brief little update on my Huawei GT3 Pro in ceramic white. If you've enjoyed this video, please click the like button if you've enjoyed multiple videos on this channel. Consider subscribing, subscriptions are free, memberships cost, and memberships have privileges. If you'd like to see what those membership privileges are, just click on the join button. I'd like to thank you for your time, because time is money. And I hope to catch you on my next video. Holla!